Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. Today's article comes from Cointelegraph and looks like Canadian police warn crypto investors on growing home robbery trends. That's right, perpetrators have impersonated delivery drivers in order to break into the homes of victims to steal their cryptocurrencies. Now again, a good rule of thumb is never disclose how much crypto you have with anybody. It's no one else's information but yours i know you're excited we're, we're in the bear market which is the best time to buy so when the bull run hits you're making all this money it's like you kind of want to share that information but no it's unethical just never share how much you have with anybody because that puts a target in your back and then these guys will try to break in and steal your crypto so yeah here we go so let's go over this article and see a little bit more details of what they're warning us about a Canadian police department has issued a public warning of a possible trend where high-value cryptocurrency investors are being robbed in their own homes. On July 19th, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in Richmond, a city south of Vancouver, said several similar robberies involving cryptocurrency investors have occurred over the last 12 months. Now, Staff Sergeant Gene Hissey of the Richmond RCMP Major Crime Unit said that someone is targeting these victims for cryptocurrency and believed a public warning was necessary for the public safety. Here is a tweet by them warning everybody about it. And yeah, the RCMP didn't release specific details on the incidents, but explained in each case that the perpetrators impersonated a delivery driver before robbing the victim. Now, these suspects gain access to victims' home by posing as delivery people or persons of authority. Once led inside the home, these suspects rob the victims of information that give access to their cryptocurrency accounts. Now, again, why are you letting a delivery person into your house? <laughs> it's like, I have never done that. Just leave it at the door. But Staff Sergeant Jill Long of the Delta Police investigative service said that the suspects appear to know that the victims are heavily invested in cryptocurrency along with the knowledge of where they live the de police department confirmed it made one arrest but has not confirmed whether several incidents are linked it did not provide specific details about the incidents or how much cryptocurrency was stolen as the investigations are still ongoing now, to avoid a home robbery, the department advised not letting strangers or delivery people, whether seemingly legitimate or not, into the household and said ask them to just leave deliveries outside. That's pretty common. Now, if in doubt, a call should be made to the delivery company to confirm the person's identity and authorities should be called if danger is or appears imminent. Now, valuables and financial information should be kept somewhere safe within the household, such as a safety box, the police advised. Now, more generally, the police recommended only discussing financial matters in private, not on social media, and only with trusted people. In March, Canada's self-proclaimed crypto king, Aiden Plitsky, was allegedly kidnapped and falsely imprisoned and assaulted by five men who fell for an apparent cryptocurrency scheme with Plitsky. One of the men who reportedly invested 740000 Canadian dollars, which is about 560000 uh, U.S., into the scheme and then was charged with kidnapping Plitzkirtzi on July 17th to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. So that was one thing to have. But again, yeah, these guys even called it as well. It's just like you do not disclose this information with anybody. You don't want to put a target on your back. You want to keep it safe. Only the people close to you, like maybe it's going to be your spouse, your kid, whoever's going to be in charge, like after something happens to you, they're the only ones who should really know about the cryptocurrencies you got. And that is it. But you shouldn't be, like, disclosing that on uh, social media sites or whatnot. It's just like, no, don't do it. I know, again, like I said, you get excited. The bull run's coming around. It's like, yeah, I bought this much at this time. Oh, well, good for you. A lot of people do that, too. But you just made yourself a target, so do not do that. So, again, so stay safe out there. This was a warning by the Canadian Police Department. And, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this article read-through, smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.